Hello everyone and welcome back to Yadvia. Today we're doing Scenario 5 by Tautus' Crusade and there is an achievement, no baggage to defeat the Crimean Tatars without building a town center. Now I have heard that this scenario is quite difficult so we'll see how many attempts it takes for us to get through it. So let's go. June the 18th, 1399. A gift arrived for me today. A silver cradle. For the mother of two kingdoms, courtesy of Vitautus. I could not help but laugh as it was carried into the room. Such a work of beauty. For a man who appreciates nothing but war and power, wine and women. Vitautus. I am not sure he ever gave up on his dream of being sole ruler of Lithuania. He certainly never acts like he is Yogaila's subordinate. For the past few years, Yogaila has been rebuilding our war-torn kingdoms. While I have worked to prevent further conflicts from breaking out. All the while, Vitotis has gone on the offensive. He has now gone off to conquer Tataruthenia, where he has befriended a deposed Khan, one Toktanish. Together, he claims, they are going to conquer their way to the Black Sea. All right, so this will be attempt number three. The first two attempts I'll just put down in the, uh, I'm, maybe I'll make an unlisted video and I'll link that in the description. But for now, I now know how the scenario works, so I think we'll get it this time. So we need to force Kaiser Kerman into submission so that Toktamish can reclaim his throne, defeat the Crimean Tatars, and liberate Ruthenian villagers to gain villagers used by Tatars in combat. The more experience he gains, the stronger he will become. Basically, we start... Up here, we can go to Imp, we can get to Pop 200, and we can't make Navy, only fishing ships. We have the Lithuanians this time, and we can capture villagers from other villages. And once we build our town center, we're going to lose some of our starting units. So let's see. I'll just explain how this works as we go along. We start in the north. Uh, blue has a base here, yellow has a base here, orange has a base in the south, and gray is kind of small and in the west. The lands of Tataruthenia are right for conquest. Let us ride south and capture as many towns as we can. Right, so there are these towns here. As we... As we get these towns, we kill the cavalry and the towers. That gives us these villagers. And then we kill the trade workshops. That gives us supplies. We use the supplies to uh, train troops basically. Okay, and now that this one's down, I'm gonna split my army into two groups. Roughly equal size. Thank you for freeing us from the Tatars. We will help you in the fight against the Horde. I'm gonna build a lumber camp kind of in the middle so other villas can join it. Here, I'm gonna liberate these other villages as quickly as we can. <laughs> Build a lumber camp and then start building houses so we can make docks and fishing ships. Let's see if we can get all nine of these and then head to the south. Now, Toktomish and Vitautus are both very strong fighters. That. That supply depot there, and go there, then there. I just has gained fighting experience, just power, sources in the supply depot, bills, you come up over here, help with the houses, here, that one cow archer. Thank you for freeing us from the Tatars. We will help you in the fight against the Horde. Also get a blacksmith. Win. Head to the corner of the map there. Okay, actually I just want you to build a lumber camp there. Got about 16 units there. 
Okay, blacksmith. Upgrade our armor. Our attack for our cavalry units. Cavalry take the arrow fire. Or the cavalry trees take the arrow fire, I mean. All grouped up as you run in. <laughs> Said have you all grouped up as you run in. There. Power. Roll. Oh well. Here, start chopping wood. Start building docks now. That. Oh, nope, can't build docks with that hill. Right. Avoid that patrol. Thank you for freeing us from the village. We will help you in the fight against the horde. So, the deposed Tokta Mishkan returns as a pawn of our old enemies. What a disgrace. Units. Start building up a stable here, too. Actually, Bodkin. Let's not do Bodkin. One doesn't seem to have any. Oh, now it does. Got that tower. That pills we did. Dock there. Actual, let's see over there. Yep, that shouldn't be much of a problem for us. We have our heroes there. Thank you for freeing us from the Tatars. We will help you in the fight against the Horde. Let's just have you. Okay. Both of you will converge on these center towns and then we'll go and defeat the Crimean Tatars. Let's attack there. Docks running. So we have to shoot too many houses. Here, with you there. Tatras is getting fighting experience. Great. Faster fishing ships. I don't know when exactly that becomes important, but it is very important. Also, we're going to need a market very importantly. You also want to split your fishing ships up to the opposite sides of the bridge there, so that they can work more efficiently. Guys can build a market. It's about time we could start taking that gold. Knock down the outpost, why not? One more village here. When we liberate the villages, green becomes our ally and starts actively building up their forces. Final town here to liberate, and then we'll go defeat these Tatars. Experience. Straight to the south of the map. 
<laughs> to defeat the Chitaris. We were doubtful of you at first, also, but you have proven beyond a doubt that you are better off under your rule. From this day forth, we fight for Lord Vitotus. Good. Fighting me. And now we see green on the side of the map, they're active. Would very much like a monastery over here just to collect this relic. Oh, there we go. We're getting them just as they started to build their castles, which is the perfect time to get them. That stable. Oh, they built the stable. Oh well. Go for the mills. That throughout their base. Don't let them build buildings. Where are we being attacked? Oh, up here. Can't garrison things we don't have a TC, we're just gonna have to quick wall. You guys can back up here, protect us. From that castle. The bills under the TCs. I think we just need to destroy the TCs to defeat them. Let's concentrate on that. TC should go down quickly enough. All of our forces on one TC though. Atus has gained fighting experience. Good. Here, don't let them build more buildings. Gotta find another castle in case they're going for it. The Christians of Ruthenia have long lived under the Tatar yoke. If you construct monasteries in the towns that lack places of worship, I am sure that the Polish nobility will deem it prudent to aid you in your holy quest. TC. Down here. Same time, I want to start getting a villager heading down here for a monastery. Get that relic there. Oh, blue's coming to attack us. Okay, it looks like they're deleting stuff. Yes. Way. <laughs> Fire ships, no. Antitars resigned, good. Okay, now I don't want to build the TC just yet. Or actually, I think I do. Because when we build the TC, then Toktamish's, all of his step lancers and cav archers. and drive them back to Asia! I hope that you don't refer to me. I am Mongo, not Tata. Big difference. Bill Marcus. So, 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 so. Hey, so, uh, as I was saying, uh, as I was saying uh, defeating the Crimean Tatars makes them build a wonder, and uh, when you build your TC, then Toktamish and all of his forces will leave and become... Uh, his own player. That'll be that cyan player there. So the sooner we do this, the sooner they'll build their own base. So we'll, we'll start building up here. We'll just TC there. We also will pay attention to the fact that uh, we'll potentially lose units. So you can go there. You go into that monastery. Did I lose the bill who was going there? I probably did. <laughs> Let's see if you can make it there. Built that monastery. Why are you sending knights there? Let's just keep getting more resources for TCs. Get another one over there. Pick that villa bitch. Right, now. That wonder, there's a secret to taking that out. And that is, there's an Italian player over here on the left. We defeat the Italians, we get some cannon galleons. Is good for a man's health. But we will both need bases of operations to win. There he goes. 
I shall make camp to the west. Give me your signal when you are ready to attack. And then basically we get the cannon galleons. Oh yeah, there's a relic here. I don't think I scouted it yet. Get the cannon galleons, we can attack that wonder from the sea. There's the relic. Right, we need to quickly. Or TCs, I think. Wood is very cheap for whatever reason. That might be a bit forward to put a TC. Let's maybe put one. Oh, yeah, we want the TC on the wood. We can get these fires out of the way, then we can get this monastery up. You see down here could also be nice. Oh well. Let's come up here. I don't know how much of this scenario is on a timer and how much of it is things that you trigger. I feel like it might be weighted a bit too heavily towards things that we trigger ourselves. See, can we get a TC over here? Oh, we can't. You're building a castle there. All right. Uh, oh, wait. Let's put it in a more useful spot, like there. And then we can get some siege workshops up there while we're dealing with the uh, other player eventually. Where are we being attacked? Oh, that tower is attacking our fishing ships. Well, we're not going to fish up there. Are we? No, I guess we're not. Or maybe we can, we just need a dock really far up. Let's uh let's do that. Dead. Yeah. Got lots of TCs going. I have a mill. Maybe just mill all those boar. And here. Let's also do some hand cart. Some stone being mined, some I'd say that could be a good location for a TC. Where's the veil that I sent up here? That's stock there. Ah. Hotkeys. I can press hotkeys. There we go. I think we already ha have heavy plow research from the beginning in this one. Don't know why, but we do. See, he's looking fine. I could just patrol them so they don't show up as idle. Oh, don't attack me there, and don't attack my monastery. Down and defend it, I guess. See if that monk can at least distract them for a bit. For houses and not to the other thing. Let's get up a university maybe. Look to go imp. Get some cap rams and then push the Italians. And that wonder's going up fast. You'll see it's being built by lots of villagers. Should probably extract that relic to a safer location. Stay there. And then I'll put the monasteries in those towns later. But I don't want to do it too soon because they're going to give me units and I don't want... Units I want. <laughs> I want population space. That monastery. Is being produced. I think I could even go for another TC. 
60 C boom. What? STC spot there. Slowly amass some rams in that workshop. Work to imp. We also would like a castle. There, you are there. Here, defend us. Garrison there. There, too. Uh, and these X's are, we build monasteries, and when we build the monasteries there, we get some reinforcements from up here. Oh, and they, yep, there's the porch, the, uh, are they Italians or Portuguese? There's civs there. Italians, I can, I can read this, it says IT, there's gray. I did not see where gray was in that menu. Air stone. And there's the wonder. And as you see, they built it with a whole bunch of villagers. They didn't just use one or two villagers like most in your AIs. No, they used all the villagers they had. Or maybe not all of them. I didn't actually check how many they had, but they used lots of bills. These fish are just about finished. I think there might be some more here, but they'll probably die to the towers. You must be proud to have taken so much land from us while we were busy elsewhere, if you wish. Now, enough child's play. Meet me in the field by the Vosclar River. I will give you three days to prepare your food. And there goes our fishing ships going down. Man that we can find. Let us crush these Tartars once and for all. Fourteen to start the battle before the timer runs out. Uh, I'm gonna use the timer. I'm gonna use the timer. Not just to go amp. Not just to amass more cavalry units. And not just to mine more gold. Not just to build a castle in the middle of my base. My man will ride me to Not just to let my fishing ships get deleted for pop space. And not just to use Toktamish's army here. As the bulk of my army. But also to attack these uh, Italians here. Because as you see, with that, we are now at our pop limit. So it's time to sell and think about clicking up the imp and to attack people so that we lose population. It's fishing ships. Now we're just gonna just generally see crossbows. Oh, see, this is why. Oh, he's, he's right in the perfect position to assist us. We'll use some of that, and some of that, and some of that. Rams go through the barricade. They're through, they can go after that cannon. Out of the way, the cavalry go in. I guess we didn't really need that many rams. Now we can start doing hill forts. Our range will be good for these TCs that are being wrecked now. Oh, that's a good thing we got six TCs. So now we can start building our monasteries in these towns here. My nobles are eager to fight for you, Vatotas. But I grow concerned. Is Ruthenia not enough? Must you conquer all of Asia to satisfy your vanity? Alright, now we build a castle here. We also take that, uh, look there. 
That's what he said earlier. But regardless, your actions are inspiring. You are doing well, Vitotus. All throughout court, there is gossip about your pious actions. Stay there. Stay there. Bill, just to make sure it gets up. Let's move Lumberjax onto stone to make sure that we can get enough castles so that we can build Laetus unit. Now we have reinforcements from here. They're up. Yep, and here we have two cannon galleons and two galleons. So we're just gonna sneak those back there and use them to hit the wonder. Destroyed our monastery in that town. And here's some boyars. Now everyone's just gonna all like, group up and they're gonna have a big army. Meanwhile, these cannon galleons are going to sneak back here and destroy that. God has certainly blessed you, Vitotus. I hear that even the Pope is impressed with what you have accomplished for the Ruthenians. Oh. My father will mock me in the afterlife. Died. Do not attack my cannon galleons. Is badly wounded and carried back to camp. All right. Now we'll get this wonder here from the back of the back. That'll go down. Well enough. Got so much population, I can't really do anything with it. Relic there. Put it in our monastery there. Rams, I don't think I need them. Build that monastery there. You guys, I don't even know what I'm going to do with you. Just go in the front, I guess. Castle there. Oh, I never clicked up to Imp. I should do that. Imp would be very useful. <laughs> Not the type of thing you want to forget. Oh, I clicked up to imp. Anyway, that wonder will go down. Right quick. I don't know if they're defeated. I haven't actually killed that wonder yet. <laughs> this is as far as I've seen. Before I, uh... Let these guys build castles before I defeated them too much. There goes the wonder. That's down. Laetus oh, units. We got double blacksmith. The time has come. Attack an Let enemy us crash now. the golden horde once and for all. <laughs> okay. Have fun with that. I wonder if that still affects camels. I can those walls, it's fine. Castle here. Uh, no. Here. Attack here. I must retire for a while. A stray arrow pierced my side and threw me from my horse! Send word when you have retaken my throne for me, Vitotus! Right. We do still get wing castles, which is nice. Let's do that. And that. And that. 
Okay, back to collecting food. Yeah. Oh, we could be mining gold there. Okay, so yeah, they're gonna build their own wonder. I think I'm building Trebs instead of Laetus. Oh well. Probably used to be massive Trebs anyway. Any galleons, how you doing? Can you hit those ranges from the coast? No, but you can hit that tower and that castle. Okay. That's our first objective out of the way. Oh, we still got you over here. Oh, well. They're really coming hard at us. Gold and tribute. Great. That castle didn't go up. So we got attacked from the rear. Now we have so much army that we don't have units. Okay. Not clicking it might uh, have ruined me a bit here. Still okay here. Two paladins. Back and rebuild. <laughs> All those extra units really, uh, really hurt because I couldn't manage my eco properly. I don't have any food. So. My steam is back here. Paladins. No, don't <laughs> attack a deer. Now we can finally get our eco set up. It might be advantageous just to delete all those units we've been getting. Let's see if we can... Oh, nope, can't repair. Here's my unbuilt castle. Oh, I don't have one. Castle will go down. Can at least repair this one. With those deer, sure. Okay, we do have plus five. I would like one more relic. Maybe I'm missing one. How are these guys doing here? Protect that castle for me. Go for the Trebs. Up the Wonder is up. I think we can make it through now, though. I got a bit close at the end there. But we're okay. I still have enough stables here for the paladins. Oh, crap. Um, we might need to turn around and clean that up. But I think we've cleaned up the majority of the golden horde. Oh, almost here comes another round. 
They are just stuck lancers, though, so if we, if we can hold until we get our paladins out of these stables, then... Ah. Use those trebs. I think we want to win this fight. Circle back and win this fight. Bills. So that's where there's one. Let's go get some HP off of them. Nice. We have still 87, so still not really enough of hills to hold an army together. For farms, please. There. You know what? I don't like that farm. That one. There. Oh, we got a sling. 800 gold. Maybe that's why we have so much gold to get a sling. Okay, now. It's time for Trebs. Probably some of siege workshops. Okay, we finally have 60 farmers, so that's a good number. Probably take out that castle with the paladins. We might take out the wonder with the paladins, too. I'm not really in a sense of urgency for doing that, though. How are those cannon galleons doing? They can't really cannon galleon anything else other than those towers. Nope, not that wall, the tower. There you go. Maybe they could do stuff over there. But, uh, the Ruthenian villages seem to be doing a bang up job of taking that out. Don't need that. Just in case we do archers for some reason. Bombard cannons there. In fact, don't bother doing all the way back there, just go forward. The Linian Paladin should be able to clean that up. Maybe I could like transport ship down there. Oh no, I can't build transports in this one. I was gonna say that's another place where they might be hiding a relic. Maybe over here. Oh, in that monastery is a relic. We have 103 vills. That should be okay. Quite a few more. There. Oh, we're running out of wood now. We do have a good number of farmers, but we no longer have wood. Okay, we're getting back to our pop cap. Okay, maybe we're good there. Stand here, start assaulting that castle. Try a tower that is able to range. Let's get the cannons back. You get into there. Look at these winged hussars now. They're built up again. I guess pushing them probably triggers them to be more aggressive. Castle there. Focus on the cow archers in the back. Some wind hussars.
Alright, uh, we still have 200 years. Let's not push things too fast. Have to trip the cannons. Why are we being attacked? Oh, we're being attacked from behind. Trying to attack back. Now have a plus six attack. Attack an enemy now. Cannons alive in the crew shell, and I kind of want that Hussars to be my main force now. Okay, now we go for that. We still have 150 years. Oh, yay, gold. Oh, yeah, you're coming. Okay. You will go through there. Got that tower. in the castle. Far ahead of us. Got that castle. Let's pick up some elite Keshiks. Uh, oh, I never did crop rotation. Um, that. Probably too late for that to pay off. Do it anyway. That castle. Too much now that we have all these trebs, but some of you back on the wood. Yeah, a lack of crop rotation is gonna hurt. And is alive, let's repair them. Probably use some halbs actually, I don't even have a barracks. Let's just start heading towards them. Halbs? The halbs just kind of need to be mixed in. To deal with the HCA in the back and the running of gold. I mean, not to deal with the heavy cavalry ship, but to deal with the stuff in the front. And the warrior for the halbs is the stuff in the back. Okay, we've still got 100 years. You see, move slightly forward and step off that wonder. I'm not going to push. I'm just going to amass more units. Yeah, this is the problem that we need to somehow afford upgrades for the halbs. We need to hold behind these cannons and help our allies keep attacking. Those cannons doing. Let's maybe take out. See if we can hit that range. Oh, we're being attacked down there. Why do I have units over here that I'm not using? And AI giving me units I don't know about. <laughs> that would have been very helpful. Okay, the cannons got ahead of me there. Gosh. This this scenario would have been easier had the AI just not given me any units. Monastery is right in the spot. I don't want it. Oh, that's a warning about the wonder for 100 years. Right. Okay, I'm just going to need one good push to snipe it off. I think I need halves in this army. And I have some halves. Go. the monastery. Back there. I'm, I'm running out of gold reserves now. 
which is why I kind of really do need these helps. I have some of my allies to protect me. Not really worried about cow archers attacking the shrubs, they don't really do much damage. I'm more worried about these Keshex and stuff lancers. That should go down. And then why are you coming from the rear? There. Okay, we got the wonder. Let's see if we can just make a beeline for that castle. Look, I can't pull the trubs back. Really. Let's see how much damage we can do, if any. And it goes down just as the trebs die. Good. There. Oh, they're turning around. Just flee the battlefield! After them, men! Slaughter them and scatter them to the wind! For Lithuania! Crush the fleeing Tatars. Okay. Now oh, we can deal with this down here. Wait, we never did guild. I think it's one of the guilds. We don't have much in the way of an army to crush the fleeing units with, but uh, we'll see what we can do. We do have the extra attack now for plus six. Yes. There. I have to attack the monastery, but oh, I never did two man saw. I should have done that. Uh, okay, Th there's a tip. One, don't forget to click Imperial Age, and two, don't forget to click your imp uh, resource upgrades. Right. So we get like a ton of winged hussars and chase that, I guess. Okay, you come up here. And we'll then crush those fleeing Tatars. <laughs> At the edge of the map, like we play in some Total War game. Oh, how, how did this get damaged? Like, what? Why, I still have these useless boyars down there. Everyone group up up here. Hey, what else have I not been doing? Monastery upgrades, don't really need those. Find more stone for more castles. That helps. Yeah, you're, you will be good at this. You. And here, our ally. Help out our ally by attacking there. This would have been a good spot to give them, like, less armor or less HP.
Oh, hello. You should have attacked three days ago, the Totus. Before Edinger's second army arrived. Instead, you walked right into our trap. <laughs> Turn around, men! Slaughter them! Leave none alive! Alright. Up here. Some halves. Let's find a nice hill to fight on. Fight in this narrow passage here, they can't like all use all their numbers at once. We'll, we'll count on the latest being the stronger unit. Alright, so I guess if we hit 14 really fast, we don't have to fight that. That's cool. Fine. Plus. Why don't you stop sending your army here? Your wonder is destroyed. Right. My army obliterated. Those blasted Tartars lured me into a position where they could surround me. Not one you want to be on the receiving. Um. But what happens now? Is that just for show? Oh, I don't get to go back and defeat them. No, like I've, I got resources. I can defeat them. Okay, well, back to this guy now, I guess. Let's get up one more castle here. Let's get some trebs. Okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm not content with that. We're gonna add some stables here. Add some halves, and we're gonna go. We're gonna defeat those Tatars. some stuff down here. Oh, we do some thumb ring. If there's anything for us at this point. Which There. We'll slowly but surely work at this base. Just get out here with the halves and see what they still have. So I guess if we attack early, maybe we get the benefit that we can mine gold up here where it's pretty safe and this bridge could be walled. <laughs> oh yeah, those were purple ships blowing up the bridge, I guess, just to make sure that we didn't do it ourselves. Or kill them before they reached the bridge. Maybe they, the trigger has removed all this army so we can't actually come back and fight it off. <laughs> they weren't planning for me to actually have a forward there. Actually, yeah, we don't really need trading the villagers. There. Oh, that treb stopped. Okay. There. <laughs> that relic's over there still. Yeah, I guess they are gone. No, 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 they're not gone. Some of them are there. They're appearing and disappearing. Wait, this, oh, there they go. Oh, wait, wait, they're, they're, <laughs> they're coming off the edge of the map and disappearing. I guess they just spawn infinitely. You know what? We ain't gonna deal with infinite spawns, no. We're gonna take our units and we're gonna stand them right here. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, no, wait. 
This is weird. They're simultaneously being created and destroyed. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's not worry about that no more. Bring up the trebs. Bring up the everything. Halves over here. Oh, sorry, you're bringing up tribes. Who is this castle? It's down there. Population, anyway, I don't need it. I really need to press the idle military button a lot more throughout these uh, scenarios. Maybe that gate? Oh, we've we've won over here, yes. <laughs> Good job, units. That castle. Oh, my trev is going to be killed out of nowhere. All the units going. My trebs go back that way. Trebs run away. You come up here. Castle hasn't gone down yet. Got siege workshops down. <laughs> you can kill that siege workshop and stop the rams, hopefully. Even if I lose the treb, it's worth it just to snipe that off. Actually, can the cannon galleons hit that? I will do it with the trebs too. Probably should have deployed them on that hill. Gate slows them down. Breach. Oh, they, the cannon galleons are not hitting that. They're hitting the wall behind it. This is like that tower the trebs are lost. That treb, however, can make it. Paladin's down, that's just one to SARS. Oh, see. I could just want to snipe that fortified tower with the Kang Galleons, but I guess not. Go for it. Don't lose the trap, not like that. No, not to a ram. We just stop the rams. Probably do need some barracks, though, for the Halbs. Conversion on the Keshik. Not the weak one, but for the strong one. Yes. <laughs> Switch that conversion just in time. Grabs now. Wants to be a massive with number of trebs, we'll snipe that castle. <laughs> Yay, Diane. Or maybe we just need these two shreds. I think we've gotten their army under control a bit. They're just going to have four production facilities. Here. Oh, you know, we'll knock down first that tower there. The 
tower to kind of be able to run in. There. I was probably trading halves over here. Where the barracks is. Oh, I think it's up here again. I'm not pressing the idle military hockey because I know it's going to, like, bring me over here. Let's see, I just had a bunch of units I saw in the middle of nowhere. Oh, you're all down here. You can't get anywhere. Don't give me notifications, Steam. Bugs pack of the castle. <laughs> Gates still impossible to take out. That siege for him. Oh, there's a cliff there. We can't get in. Focus the gate. Oh, why are you coming from this side again of the huge mass of units? I guess you're coming from across that bridge. Oh, you know what? They're eco. That's right, there's a hint. You can harass their eco on the right side of the map. I would just like to take out that castle. They got one more castle there. Eight, and we can't get in on that side. Did I lose the cannon galleons? I think I did. But that's fine at this point. There. <laughs> I'm not gonna make units. I need to get better at using my control at this point in the game. Instead of my uh, buildings. Castle there. Gate. Crosses run to Eco. Castle. Here, it's, you also run to the eco. Did I harass that eco, I guess? Oh, wait, I didn't lose the cannon galleons. They're right here. I can harass the eco from down here, too. I guess they were trading along the edge of the map. They probably have. Yeah, they got a market there. Maybe spies? No, no spies. I see you with that ram. That. Tables and I have to keep group again. I set myself my trips to that group. Get these fortified walls. You know, if you want to talk about being Mongol and not Tatra, you really should be making some drill siege rams, Tokhtamish. Okay. Fortified tower, then there's buildings, and then we run across here and harass the eco. That's 66 HP. I think we can get it with these units. <laughs> the tower <laughs> and the buildings. Okay, finally we're in. You can add in uh, long swords just to kill the buildings faster. The 
the champion route. Guys, get in there. It would be nice if Treb auto targeting prioritized buildings over. Uh, other things like houses. And when I say build, I mean the military buildings over houses. That's what I meant to say. Oh, Orange, you still got a trade cart. How wonderful. Champions. More hills to come forward over here. Some siege, and that'll be our rams. Try this gate to let our army out. Oh, yay, we are victorious. Ooh. All right, we got the achievement. That one took me like three or four attempts. I forget how many. But yeah, this is a... The thing I like about this scenario is that it depends on uh like your strategy as you build up and go around the map in the beginning and that's kind of a way to avoid the uh like the limitations of the ai not being too smart is that you just, it's not really a fight against the ai so much as a strategy to come up with with how to use your units at the beginning of the scenario so let's Let's go look at the ending. June the 22nd, 1399. I have received no news of Vitotus's escapades in Ruthenia for some days now. I pray that he is successful. And yet, I fear that his insatiable hunger for power will be the downfall of everything I have striven for. But for now, I must not worry about Vitotus. I have more pressing worries, and my mind is racing with fear and anticipation. My body swells and aches and changes. To walk is exhausting, and to lie down is no relief. For days I have written in this journal to keep my mind occupied, but now I can barely even do that. Any day now, I will give birth to my first child. Yogaila's firstborn. The heir of two kingdoms whose union I have worked so hard to foster. I look out of the window, breathing the crisp morning air. Krakow is beautiful in its thin dress of mist and sunlight. The Vistula glitters. Birds sing their praises to God from trees and bushes and tufts of grass. And for just a short moment, it seems as though every thread in the fabric of reality is made of gold, glowing and glittering like never before, any day now. Okay. Well, I'm glad that they resigned without us needing to kill them completely. Yeah, that was a really nice scenario there. Those wonders really make you push through and get to, uh, get to, like, force you to keep moving and keep booming at the right pace. The, like, the only annoying part is all those free units are completely useless when what I really want is pop space to make villagers because <laughs> I got I got really uh, pushed back at the start there because I had I think like 60 villagers when I really wanted to have around 120 and then I had all these extra units that come in and instead of having resources banked up I have units so, I don't know, maybe deleting the units is the right play as they come in, because those, uh, those new infantry units really aren't that good. But 
But anyway, that was quite the epic scenario. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.